Good morning. Seems like it didn't work. Um, I'm going to... I have to try and remember what I said, but I'm going to try and say over what I said to a... Uh, a, uh, a computer to a, an iPad before I thought I was talking to you. <clears throat> Tonight, we're going to have a service Jewish homes all over the world, the service that we do tonight, which is the searching for the Hametz. For the past few weeks, in homes everywhere, people have been um, working to fulfill the Torah mandate of reading our homes of Hametz, which is leavened bread. So, in other words, for this, the seven days of Passover, which are, are biblically mandated, and that's what it is in Israel today, or the eight days, that way we do it here, there's no bread, there's no bagels, there's no crackers, and what we do have is matzah, and it's a mitzvah to eat matzah at the seders, and it's not a mitzvah per se to eat the matzah the other days, but if you're going to have something like that, a product like that, a bread-like product, it's going to be matzah. And the Torah tells us to get rid of our chametz, the language is almost like destroy the chametz, and to eat matzah. So while we've been ridding our homes of chametz, and not necessarily ridding our homes of chametz, only just like throwing it all out, but we're, we're sequestering it. We're, we're putting it away so it's out of the way over Pesach. We're not mistakenly eating it. It's locked up in different um, uh, closets or pantries. We also will... Um, and you can do this online with us, we will sell our chametz to a, uh, to a non-Jew. And the way it would work is I have, if I have uh, uh, my, my friends next door who are Catholic, the Torah doesn't tell them at all that it's a value not to eat chametz. They have their own mitzvahs, but this is not a mitzvah that is from my non-Jewish friends. So there's absolutely no issue with them, morally or spiritually, to be able to have the possession of chametz, or ownership of chametz over Passover. So even if it's in, in my house, I'll sell it. The ownership part will go to, to uh, a, a someone who's not Jewish, and then buy it back after Passover. And you could do that online with us. So we we kind of put our chametz in order. We clean the the home. It's it's not a, it's a spring cleaning per se, although it is a spring cleaning. Maybe that's where spring cleaning came from. Preparing the home for Passover. Tonight, there's a, what is almost a more formal search for Passover, for Chametz, even though we've been working on this for weeks. And it's called Batikas Chametz, searching for Chametz. And then it's really the beginning of a process that ends tomorrow morning where we burn the Chametz. Like we're getting rid of the chametz, and that, to, I got to some extent this is kind of ceremonial tonight. When many of us all over the world are going to be splitting up through the house with a candle, searching for chametz, we really we, we shouldn't be finding chametz because we've cleaned the house. There could be a stray cheerio, but it's not. It, 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 everything should have been done. But we will put out some pieces, ten pieces, carefully wrapped so nothing crumbles. As, and to be able to, and someone will keep a, a list of where they are so nothing gets lost. And we'll search for the, that chametz, we'll put it together, and we're not going to do anything with it. We'll put it to the side until tomorrow when it's burnt. Now, this is part of fulfilling the Torah idea of ridding ourselves, physically ridding ourselves of chametz. Um, and the blessing we'll say tonight, before we search for the chametz, we'll say, thank you, God, for the mitzvah of eradicating chametz, destroying chametz, ridding ourselves of chametz, depending on how, how you want to translate it. Even though we're not doing it yet, we're doing it tomorrow. But this is a, a more of a, a functional fulfillment and a kind of a cer ceremonial fulfillment of all of that. Spiritually, it's also very meaningful. And every mitzvah has its very critical physical fulfillment and, and very critical spiritual key that has to be accompanying it. We mentioned yesterday that chametz, the the, the, the puffiness of chametz, so it, it symbolizes the unhealthy ego. 
And even though chametz is not a bad thing, and we have the Chal of Friday night, and that's important, and it's a mitzvah, and it's we're fulfilling a mitzvah with that, it, when we come into Pesach, we're, we're going to go a little bit to an extreme in order for us to be able to, to get a grip on the ego. We're going to put it to the side and be able to look at ourselves honestly without the, the ego layers that come, the, the, the rationalizations and the, the uh, defense mechanisms, just to, to be able to, to start a path of growth which Passover is about. And for that, we put chametz, the ego, to the side. And as I, I mentioned yesterday, I believe, or the day before, in, in scriptural language, the term chametz, really it symbolizes unholiness. It means there's, a, such, there's an unhealthy sense of self, which means there's no room for God, there's no room for others, there's no room for purpose, there's no room for what am I needed for, because it's all about what do I need and what do I want. So... This searching for chametz is also searching for an internal chametz. This eradicating chametz is trying to, when we, we look at, at, the, at the going up in, in smoke tomorrow, when we're searching for it, we're trying to imagine and hope within ourselves that that's going up in smoke. And I'm going to read a, uh, a prayer. Now, there are prayers in the prayer book. One is the blessing. There's a, there's a, a a prayer that's very important is where we're renouncing ownership of anything in our homes which we haven't found because what if there there is in my office here a bag of Cheerios that I, I put away uh, last summer and I just don't remember. It's I don't remember. What, do you, what can I do with it? I can't get rid of it because I don't know it's there. But when I renounce ownership, even if it's here, it doesn't it's not a violation of anything because it's not mine. I've announced that if someone wants to take it, they can have it. And that's really where the, the, the Passover issue is, is with the ownership of Chum. It's not so much with having it within your, your physical boundaries. After that, there's a, a prayer. I know I want to read it. It's in our prayer book, and I want to read it in the, in the English to explain some of the spiritual tenor, the spir spiritual tone where we the, this practice guides us. We will say tomorrow, after the burning of the chametz, and after we renounce our ownership of anything we don't know about, but once again, we, write, we will say, May be your will, Lord our God and God of our fathers, just as, that just as I remove chametz from my house and from my possession, so shall you, God, remove all the unholy forces and purge the spirit of impurity from the earth. Eradicate our negative impulses. That's Hametz. Eradicate those the negative impulses from within us. And grant us a heart of flesh. Now we all have hearts of flesh. But the idea is a heart of flesh means that, that it's not a hard heart. It's not a cynical heart. It's not a heart that doesn't allow inspiration in. God, grant us a soft heart, an open heart, a malleable heart to serve you in truth, in all the unholiness and the concealments of goodness. May they be destroyed in smoke, and God, abolish the rule of evil from the earth. And for the, as for those who make God, godliness uncomfortable on earth, what does that mean? Where the people, the people by their actions don't allow for holiness to show itself, for goodness to reign. May they be removed and with judgment, just as you annihilated Egypt and its idols, its unhealthy attitudes in those days. At this time, Amen Salah. So we're, we're, gonna, we're starting tonight with searching for the Chomets. It builds to a crescendo tomorrow with the burning of the Chomets. Tactile, in, in the physical reality, very important within the spiritual to try, we look at ourselves and say, where's my chametz? Can I rid myself? And when I, I want to rid myself, God, will you please do your bit in ridding the world of its chametz, its negativity, its harshness, its shallowness, and yes, even its coronavirus. The, 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 those, the forces of the world which get in the way of us 
being who we need to be as human beings and as connected human beings who truly share in each other's company where we can actually give each other a hug and and, and be together like God intends. Wish you a wonderful person.